pay for this one. It's not great. Okay, you guys. Just a few minutes. We we want to um, see if anyone can remember such special moments that you might have had with Vic. That goes for mainly his nephews and his sisters and his brother. Uh, Kamala, you want to come first? You have something to say about your brother here? How bad he was? A culo cagao all the time. why. When my brother was small, he was thin. No, he's not. He said, he's in between. We used to, we used to call him a flaco. A flaco in English means skinny. Because he was always thin. But he's been a good father. Brother. No. <laughs> He's been a good brother all the time. We have respect each other all the time. And he's been a good husband, a good father to his children. Yes. And I thank the Lord one more time for him and the privilege of me being here. Together with my sons that they came from Arizona, to be here too. Because we appreciate them. Yes, and that may the Lord keep on giving him more birthdays and be strong and forward all the time. These are my words. Amen. Amen. Tony, you have something to say? If you don't, that's okay. I know I put you all on the spot here. Yeah. Give him the mic over there. Here you go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you gotta come there. Make him come over here. Make him come over here. He owes me ten dollars for saying. Vic, I wish you the best. And you know, you've been the best brother anyone ever had. Are you going to say, Bobby, you used to take me to, to, to the trains? Did they have a solo? <laughs> what? He's only playing with me. He's only playing with me. He's only playing with me. He's paid with me. He's paid with me. He's paid with me. He's paid with me. He says, come on, I'll give him a second. Uh-oh, family stuff is coming out now. Oh. Oh, God. What did you say? I said I love you. Okay. <laughs> you can have a nice trip to the museum. And leave him there. I can leave him there. Oh, I can leave him there. Oh, I A Brooklyn museum. We show a mummy. A Botanic Garden. Botanic Garden. You left him there. Botanic Garden. Yes. You know, we are very, very close. And Hollywood Magazine. Absolutely. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh. 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 Oh.
just fit in the subway. So I had one and he had one. So I went in through, I went right through. He went, his got stuck. He could get through. So the cop grabbed him. And I went away. I told him. I told I just got home. I remember we should hit on him, so if, we, if the conductor would chase us, we would jump off and we would get mad. And then we, we'd meet on a block away and get cords that connected to the electricity that made them run. So we would take these cords and we'd wrap them around. So when he hit a portion that that cord didn't reach, everything would turn off. The trolley would stop, the lights would go on, and everything else, and we would laugh. <laughs> We had a wonderful time. Really, really good. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have any food. We had no internet. Yeah. Sarah? You got something to say about your brother? Come on, Sarah. She got a lot. Where did he leave you? Hey, Dave, you gotta tell him about that. He didn't want you to tell him about that, though. That's why. Lost and found. Lost and found. I think my favorite memory is when we came out from New York, when Eric was a little boy, and we took us to an amusement park. And, and they had one of these slides that you wear on with the blanket, and, and I remember you taking. Eric there the second time because Ryan was sick for the first <laughs> But yeah, uh, you were always the amb ambassador to the family when, when we visited and you always made us feel at home. Oh, he, that, was, that was, I think, one of Ryan's favorite memories also. Thank you. Hi, my name is, my name is Hi. Anyway, I did 
go the next step when, when you brought her home. I remember that because I hid. I wanted to hear what was going on. And I saw 